Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are working with the Sacred Path cards by Jamie Sams. Uh, these are the cards here and I would we have three options for your weekly oracle guidance. We have the first option, the second option here and the third option. So that is a rose quartz. Um, that is not actually a, a quartz, a clear quartz. It's something else. I don't know the name of it. And I'm not, I can't remember what this is. It's um, some kind of agate or jasper, or something like this. I'm not really sure though. So um, if you'd like some guidance for the week ahead or just simply for a particular question that you may have, you may come to this video uh, at any point in time and ask if it resonates with you. And um, if you feel drawn to it, then the message is probably for you. So uh, go ahead and make your selection. It's either one, two or three, and you will find the timestamp in the description box below. So you may pause the video at this point if you'd like, and I'm going to go ahead and begin. So for those of you who've chosen this one here, the first option, we are asking, what is it that you need to know this week? What is it that you need to know at this moment? And where is it that you need guidance in your life? And what type of guidance do you need at this moment? What type of guidance do you need right now? What do you need to hear at this moment? And, uh-uh, that's not it. What is it that those of you who've chosen the first option need to hear for this in this reading today? And I think it's this card here. Okay, so the card we have is Fire Medicine. And it reads, it's the number 30, and it reads Passion and Spontaneity. So, what I'm hearing right now is that um, fire energy is all about you right now. And for you to sustain yourself in this fire energy, you need to actually be able to burn with it in order to survive, in order not to perish. So where is it that you need to be able to reignite your passion uh, in order for you to burn in the same with the same intensity as all that around you is burning? And what I'm hearing that you need to hear right now is that this has less to do with astrological influences or uh, the energy that is simply of the earth at this moment or of the collective but rather to do with uh, the energy of those around you so it might be that others are responding to you with quite a lot of anxiety or uh, a feeling of being uh, really being in a hurry or needing to do something very quickly uh, or just a level of anxiety that comes with uh, with having to, to do something very fast or to meet a particular deadline. And this deadline might not be a real deadline. It might be something that that person's imposed upon themselves. But I'm feeling here that for those of you who are confronted with a situation like this, where you're feeling rushed by another, or you're feeling urged on by another, the way in which you need to respond with the situation is taking into account a spontaneous feeling or how you feel like responding in a moment, but to align yourself with that, with the fiery energy that that person has in order to be able to combat that or to be able to level it out or to be able to bring peace to this and to be able to stand up for yourself and really just speak what you need to say right now and what needs to be heard at this moment. So that is a very specific message that I'm hearing here. Um, for those of you who are not in conflict with another or you've, you haven't come here to ask about guidance with regard to that, but simply uh, about yourself and your path ahead and, and you're seeking spiritual guidance, the message for you is that in order to move ahead, you need to completely burn to ashes and, and close that of you which was. And when you do that, you will be able to give birth to a new version of yourself. And that new version of yourself needs to be very 
um, a very accurate description of who you ask yourself to be or who you choose to be. So before you decide to simply let go of all of which you've been holding on to or all of which that you don't need anymore, be clear about what it is that you want and where it is that you're going to. And then give yourself the space to be able to rise anew and give birth to yourself anew and let go of that which was. And take the time that you need for that. If it means that you don't um, correspond with people or you, you just you know have a lot of quiet time, then that is indicated for you. Go with it. Another way of reading this card, uh, and I'm not really getting this, but it might be of use to you, uh, is, is to use uh, fire in your rituals to be able to create or to get rid of or to be able to um, balance, bring balance to a particular situation. So you might want to use candle magic or literally light a fire, burn some herbs in it or uh, burn some letters in it or burn some some notes that you might have taken, or, or simply light a fire and, and visualize uh, uh, what you desire within that fire and uh, let it burn out into the ethers. And so that is your message for those of you who've chosen the first option today, which is this one here. And this is the stone, if I um, recall correctly, it does have actually a fire energy to it. So it's quite interesting that you would have chosen, uh, or this card has chosen the stone, uh, so to say. So I thank you for those of you who've come by today, and I'm wishing you very well on your journey. And I'm moving on to the rose quartz, which is uh, this stone here. And we're asking, what is it that those who've chosen the rose quartz today need to know as they go ahead? What information that they come here to receive? What is it that they need to know right now about a particular situation in their lives or about their lives in general? And this feels right. So the card here is Pow Wow. It's the number 25. And the message is sharing or quickening. So I'm getting uh, a range of energies that are coming to me right now. Um, one of the things I'm hearing is that even though the card says quickening and it's titled Pow Wow, I'm getting that you need to take a step back and actually align yourself in a vibration of love before you make decisions or before you confront others with regard to a particular thing. Uh, before you take any rash decisions, take a moment to actually just uh, think about what is it that you actually need to do here uh, it's not very clear. So this is a channeled message for you and it's, I'm not reading it in the way in which the author intended to read these cards. I always channel my messages and sometimes the channeling that I have is in alignment with the cards but I simply use the cards in order to be able to connect to an energy uh, that you have chosen and uh, then I unpack that energy. And so for me the card is irrelevant. So I my message for you for today is that you need really to take a moment back here. You need to take a moment to stand back and actually think about this a little longer or let it sit with you for a while. There's a saying uh, that like, let's sleep on it, but sleep on it for a few days because it's not really clear that you should go ahead right now and take the action that you're taking. So I'm getting for some of you that it may be that you're deciding to... Um, dissolve your company or a business that you have in partnership with others but that it's not actually the right time for you to do that so that might be a very specific message for one person and there is something here where I'm getting the energy or a vibration that there's somebody who's concerned or um, 
in a group of other people. Perhaps you work with others or you, you actually um, do something with others or you, you're planning to do something with others or you're in a cooperation with some others, uh, whether it be family or friends or, or you're working with, other, uh, with perhaps business associates or acquaintances. And the decision that you're thinking of taking right now with regard to them is actually not the right one. So take a moment to, in fact, pause and let, sit with it for a while and then make your decision a bit later because the energy here is is telling you to uh, whack, whack it. It's almost like you want to, uh, you know, throw a stone at somebody or like hit somebody over the head. And, and, and the, I'm saying... To you that uh, this is not the right time for that this is the time to actually be able to sit back and observe and not confront anyone within the situation for those of you where that is not resonating at all with you I'm hearing that you need to place the seeds uh, in its substrate for it to be able to grow because at this moment when you do that you're going to have the results in about six months from now, or you're going to have the results in uh, in about three months from now. So I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, and uh, we're coming into springtime, and, here, and I'm getting the message that it'll be ready by the autumn. So go ahead and uh, plant whatever it is that you need to, whether it's metaphorical or literal, and you will see the results of it. You will see the, the product uh, which you could harvest, uh, or what you shall reap later on. So it's still a good time to do that, okay? There's a third message that I'm getting here, which is also quite different from uh, the other messages. Uh, or it may be linked to the first one in some cases. The other message that I'm getting is that you don't have a clear mind right now. You have a lot of concerns or worries or things that are acting upon you. And that is not the will of your soul. That is not the will of your heart. You need to be able to get rid of all of these thoughts and these worries and these concerns and stop being so much in your mind energy or the mental energy or the intellectual energy and basically step away from that and feel, feel more. What is it that you need right now? What is it that you have to do right now? Where is Where does your relevance lie at this moment? And what energy can you bring to the situation? I'm hearing that there's anger here and I'm hearing that there is, um, there are a lot of convoluted energies here or emotions here, conflicting emotions, convoluted, I don't know why I'm getting this word again, but uh, there's con something that's convoluted in you right now and you need to actually be able to uh, let go of that energy in order to truly feel what is the path that you need to take right now. And I feel like for some of you, all these energies, all these messages for this for the second option that I've given you ties in with each other. Uh, but uh, yeah, but for some of you, it might actually not even resonate a, at all. Um, but what I'm hearing here is that uh, the other thing I'm hearing is that you have what you need at your disposal to be able to do all the things that you need to do. So if you're feeling uh, some kind of lack around what you need to do, then stop feeling that. And this is also linked to the first message I gave you with regard to uh, confronting others. Because here I feel like there's a situation where there's some kind of insecurity or being told that you're not capable enough or you're not able to do this or you won't be able to manage it. But you actually know that you can and you're starting to doubt yourself here. So don't doubt yourself with regard to that because it is something that you know you can do. And regardless of what the others think are at this moment or what they're willing to accept from you, you can still go about just doing what you need to do and uh, and uh, just stay with it for for the moment because it's irrelevant whether they believe in you or not. It's it has more to do of whether you believe in you. So this message it feels like uh, multi pronged and it just feels like it has many different uh, directions to it. It feels like I've been speaking to like four different people here or more than that. And uh, I do apologize if this doesn't really resonate with you. The message that I feel that is here also because the stone is speaking to me here more than the card well not more than the card but the stone is also speaking to me at the same moment and it has from the beginning of this reading whatever you do 
take do it with with a feeling of unconditional love constantly bring yourself to to that space where there's unconditional love in you where you're not waiting something waiting something or you don't have expectations of another if you don't have expectations about a particular situation constantly bring yourself to that feeling of love and when you have brought yourself to that feeling of love then you are able to be uh to be able to make the decisions that you need to whether it means to quicken or to to loosen or whether it means to share or not to share or whether it means to come back to yourself and what you really truly believe in or what you truly want and um, just focus on that unconditional love and it's going to bring you there. And I'm also getting the guidance here to uh, advise you to use Rose Quartz as uh, a means to be able to connect to that unconditional love if you need to. Okay, so uh, that is your message uh, for those of you who've chosen the second option here. I thank you for coming by and I'm wishing you very well uh, on your path ahead. And so for those of you who've chosen the last stone year, as I mentioned, it's not actually a quartz, it's something else. Um, I can't remember what it is. It actually broke off from an, a huge, another piece, um, which I have at my other home. And uh, I've just brought it along to this one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, for those of you who've chosen this one, we're going to go ahead and start shuffling these cards to clear the energy from the other stone. And I'm going to be asking now, what is it that you need to hear this week? Oops. What is it that you need to hear? What is it that you've come to hear here? What is your message? What do you need to hear right now? What is your weekly... Oracle guidance. Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is the number 28. The card's title is Medicine Bundle, and it reads Allies and Support. Okay, but the first thing I'm hearing here is that allies or the support that you need need not be with regard to other people. And in fact, it may be to your benefit to disassociate with certain people for a while in which you are creating or recreating something in your life. And I'm hearing here that using ritual, using herbs, using stones, using um, anything that has value to it or a certain particular vibration which aligns with where you want to be going to is going to be of value to you right now. And actually having a medicine bag, uh, something you know which contains uh, a particular vibration of energies that uh, are going to support you right now is going to be of more value to you right now than ha aligning yourself or having allies with uh, with people. So the other thing I'm hearing here for you is that prayer, ritual, and uh, the, what the earth has to offer you is really of great value to you right now. So if you are, um, if you are, you know, drawn to be in nature right now, or drawn to take a walk in the forest, or walk beside a river, or at the sea, or uh, just even sit at a park uh, with with trees in it, or be in something that is a bit green, or even just you know, in a, at a little pond, it's something that will actually be. Uh, of great benefit to you right now. The other thing I'm hearing here is that nature is your greatest ally right now. So it feels very much aligned to what I've said already, but nature is your ally and nature is the is what's going to be able to give you the power and the impetus to be able to move ahead and to be able to breathe into this next week or the space that you are about to enter. Uh, trust in the rituals that you are doing and if you are feeling that your routines are a little bit stale or do not serve you anymore or do not serve you anymore on an energetic level or a vibrational level then discard those and work and redevise your routine or um, recreate your rituals so that they may support you and do so also in a conscious way so that you are able to um, 
to really truly uh, extract the benefits from it. And what I mean by conscious is, um, you know, if you have a, a pouch underneath your pillow, which you use uh, certain herbs with to sleep with, then uh, and it hasn't been working or it hasn't been, uh, been as effective as it was at the beginning, then change that up. But be but do your research really well to see if those herbs or what you're going to be using in the future are, are, is actually going to be um, having the uh, the the impact that you hope it will have, um, because look at all the values of those of those herbs or all the values uh, the values of those stones that you're using or whatever it is that you're using, because sometimes they may work against what it is that you need. Take into account also the rhythm of your body and what your 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 body feels is. Um, is, be, sorry, let me just rephrase that. What I'm trying to say is that your body has a particular vibration at the moment which is asking for something that's quite specific. And you need to ensure that the herbs that you're using or the stones that you're using is actually in alignment with that part of your body. So you may want to seek a healer or a shaman or a, uh, a some kind of herb doctor to be able to advise you on that. But what I'm hearing right now is that you don't even need that you really need just yourself to be able to uh, work with your intuition and to be able to choose that you could also use like muscle uh, testing to be able to see if uh, that which you are using is in alignment with you if you are drawn to anything particular like uh, cinnamon or to you um, getting some kind of wood here um, I'm forgetting what it's called apologies but uh, it, yeah, if you're getting some kind of scented wood or something like that, then and you've been thinking about this and it's been coming up a lot for you recently, then go with that. Get some from a reliable, reputable source where you know that it's being sourced ethic ethically uh, because that also impacts the vibration of what uh, you're using. And then um, create what it is that you need. I'm hearing here, even though it's called medicine bu bundle, it's like you need to create a medicine bag for you. So it's something that... Uh, putting together some things that really help you and support you. I'm hearing also that the allies that you think that you might have needed in the past, uh, your allies, if you didn't hear that clearly, are actually uh, allies of the past and that you will be drawing towards you people who are uh, in the same vibration as you, on the same frequency as you and can impact your life uh, in a manner that assists you to go to where you're going to. And these are not going to be the same people who you've had in your life in the recent times. So if you're moving away from people and if you are seeking um, new friends or greener pastures or different routines, they all, it all it's okay to do that. And they're asking you not to align yourself with the feeling of loss or not to align yourself with any kind of mourning or grieving, but also, but just to be able to move on to that which is awaiting you uh, and to accept where it is that this wave that you're riding right now is going to land you. Uh, I'm hearing here that there might be some of you who have experienced grief in the recent future and that the support that you need may not be that of other people but actually just being able to take care of your own grief in your own uh in, in a way that's tailored to you so don't necessarily uh take the advice of others but listen to yourself and what you are feeling right now don't feel pressured to take the advice of others or to do things the way in which other people are suggesting it to you um i'm hearing that you need to be really conscious of what it is that foods the, the foods or the the things that you will be adding to your your medicine bag, the seeds, the uh, herbs. I think I've said something like this already, but I mean, it's being reiterated here. So uh, be really conscious of the vibration of that and um, be really conscious of the deva of it, you know. So every plant has uh, its own deva or its own spirit energy. And uh, what is it that, you know, the particular herbs or the, um, the instruments of your manifestation or whatever it is that's going to be supporting you, uh, what is the energy of that really? And work with that and ensure that that is, that is clear, okay? Because 
um, the way in which you source it is important and the vibration as it stands is important and what you carry it in, the bag itself or the pouch or, uh, you know, whatever you're doing with it, whether you're taking a bath with it, it's, ne it's needing to be uh, aligned with your vibration. And so the the energy that I'm hearing, the what I'm hearing right now is whatever you're going to be putting out right now is going to be expanding and going to be uh, doubling. And it's just going to be to that exponential value. So be really cautious of what you're integrating into your life right now because it's going to have that uh, exponential impact, so, so to say. And uh, that is what I'm hearing for you right now. I'm also hearing that you actually may... Uh, be going through some huge changes right now and it's like you entering a path and you cannot turn back like you've gone through a portal and now you are beginning anew so what is it that you need to go on this path you know you find yourself in a new landscape and what is it that you need you know uh, perhaps you need a pocket knife perhaps, perhaps you need a bow and arrow like these are just you know fantasy items um perhaps you do need a pocket knife but um what I'm saying is that look at what it is that you need and what's going to accompany you in your on your next journey. So it might mean that you're going to be sourcing some stones to accompany you in your next journey or perhaps some some incense or perhaps some myrrh or some resins that you might want to burn. Uh, but, but see what it is that's going to be accompanying you on your journey and source it for yourself. And so that is my message for you, for those of you who've chosen... Uh, uh, the third option and I just want to say thank you very much for coming by today I hope these messages resonate with you they feel quite different from the messages I usually deliver here and uh, I just yeah I hope that they actually have some value for you uh, today and so thank you very much for coming by once again and I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead and uh, may you have all the support in the way in which you go ahead and the decisions that you may need to make at this moment and where it is that you're going in general. So much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.